you know, with a, with a suit on and with a black tie and a white shirt, I think. And I was part of it. Generally, I don't have an opinion on whether that was right or wrong. Um, I'm glad I was part of it. Um, looking back on it now, I was, I'm very glad I was part of it. I think that was the hardest thing, is that, is that walk. It's a very long, lonely walk. But again, the, the, the sort of the balance between me being Prince William and having to do my bit uh, versus the private William who just wanted to go into a room and cry. He'd lost his mother. And I just remember hiding behind my fringe, basically. <laughs> At the time, I had a lot of hair and my head's down a lot. So I'm hiding behind my fringe. It was kind of like a little tiny bit of a safety blanket. I feel like I know it sounds ridiculous, but at the time, I felt if I looked to the floor and my hair came down on my face, no one could see me. Um, it sounds ridiculous now, but at the time, it was it was important for me to get through the day. And hearing people, you know, screaming in the crowds, I think uh, I think the broadcast news even today still talks about the silence. And of course, there was a huge amount of silence. But what I remember is every 50 yards or whatever, certain people in the crowd just unable to, to, to contain their emotion. And that was, you know, that was, that was a big thing. It's a very alien environment. I couldn't understand why everyone wanted to, you know, cry as loud as they did and, and, and show such emotion as they did um, when they didn't really know our mother. I felt I did feel a bit protective at times about that. I was like, well, you don't even, you didn't even know her. Why, why and how are you so upset? But now looking back you know, over the last few years, I, you know, I've learned to understand what it was that she gave the world and what she gave a lot of people. And, and back in the nineties, um, there weren't many other public figures doing what she did. And so she was this ray of light in, in a fairly gray world. To this day, I still can't remember how I was thinking. I was just like, I think just so focused on, on getting it done and, and doing everything that was asked of me there and then and making sure that I did my mother proud. Both our parents have brought us up to, to understand that as best we can, that there is this element of duty and the responsibility that, you know, you have to do things you don't want to do. Um, but I have to say, when it becomes that personal as walking behind your mother's funeral cortege, it's some... Um, it goes to another level of, of duty. Um, but, you know, I, I just kept thinking about what she would want and, and you know, that she'd be proud of Harry and I uh, being able to, to go through it. And that effectively she was there with us. I felt like she was almost walking on beside us to get us through it.